Okay, I am here with the one and only Rex. Hey, the first the first question will be, how is your smoking doing? Are you still in cold turkey mode? Yeah, I'm still cold turkey. Uh, it's been over like one, I don't even know the exact days, but it's been about 145. I'm, I'm doing real good. Cold turkey warrior, God is good. We're happy, man. You know, my son's happy, so your it's dope, happy. yeah. yeah that, that's good. Well, at the beginning, I know that your first job was in McDonald. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Dan. Dan, you were working in some foster homes. Mm -hmm. Do you still have time to visit those? Uh, uh, I don't have time to do the to actually be at the foster homes, but there are times where, like, the universities and schools, they might call me in and I talk at some of the schools. Uh, I I deal with some of the other schools, like the younger grades, the high schools, um, just just helping kids, like you know. Uh, understand like there are other ways out of the community other than like you know violence and uh and um a lot of the drama that that comes with being an inner city kid so uh whenever i get a chance that that's my that's one of my first loves dealing with youth uh dealing with the kids in the community so that'll always be the case sure. well i want to ask you about freestyle how important is freestyle to you because well you're freestyling this at the scene of the top of your head uh i know that you used to freestyle with az uh, how important is freestyle to you? Not AZ. Well, I, AZ it was AZ? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, hell no. Oh, yeah, but look, I mean, I used to freestyle definitely, man. That would have been amazing if it was with AZ, but no, no. I it was AZ. But nah, there's, there's, there's um, cats, various cats across the, like, Massachusetts, like, whole thing that we did our ciphers with. Shout out to, like, Acrobatic, Mr. Lith, Alias, um, you know, Lucky Dice, Chi Knox. Uh, Cats I just grew up with in the neighborhood. We grew up watching Ed O.G. and Crumb Snatcher. And, and I mean, it was just amazing. It's amazing to be able to work with um, Ed O.G. on this tour. And we're going to do some stuff in the States, too. But, yeah, I mean, freestyle is very important. I just feel like it sharpens your skills. Like, I've always utilized it as, as my opportunity to refresh, like, my ability to come off, like, make a line following sequence and, and make a storyline fit perfectly weaving weaving in uh in and out of like you know uh, uh, my bars so it, it's, it's dope to do the freestyle thing uh were you also partaking in some freestyle battles back in the days i was um i was in i was in some battles like not even just freestyle like you know one-on-one -on -one battles Battle game was a lot different than those, like you said, off the top freestyle. It was. It's not like you know. You go back, you dissect your 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 opponent by like you know memorizing their storyline and stuff like that. No disrespect to what's going on now because these artists are amazing, and I wouldn't even profess to be able to do what they do. But you know, it was a different kind of art form then. Like we would uh, we would uh, come off the top and like you have to be sharp, being able to talk about somebody's sneakers, witty. You bring comedy into it, bring sharp lyricism into it. So it was a different kind of battlefield then. And when it comes to grind time and the new type of freestyle, like the, those people are freestyling without the beats, they're writing the rhymes before the battles. What do you think about that? Like I said, I mean, I, I can't profess to know how to do what they do. I appreciate what they do. It's definitely a part of our art form. And it's an amazing skill, regardless. You know, it's always going to be like talent. Shout out to like Chilla Jones coming from the bean. Um, Edo just put me on to uh, 40 bars and you know shout out um, to my homie Knowledge Medina who graduated through the that ground time thing and LMS cast that I know down in Florida uh, but the Beantown thing the Florida thing man all over like there's so many dope uh, battlers out there Johnny Storm out in, up in Orlando yeah so like you know like I got respect for like a lot of those cats. Like I watch them and I and I appreciate their talent. But Chilla Jones is one that I'm a big fan of. You know what I'm saying? Like he's he's out of Boston, so I'm a huge fan of Johnny Storm, by the way. But I, I know that he he's not doing it right now. Uh, maybe he'll come back, some kind of resurrection of Johnny Storm. Uh, I wanted to ask you about Ed O.G. By the way, uh, well, 
your touring together he is he a huge inspiration for you a legendary ed og what can you tell me about, i know like of course but uh, still how huge was the inspiration when it comes to that man coming from where we come from like to to see a brother like ed og make it out of out of our hometown man it was an amazing feeling you know um i still remember like you know the first times being around ed o like And you know, being sh being nervous and shook to be like in the same presence as him because I mean, I mean, pounds and respect for like his his catalog, not just his catalog, but like you know, just the way he has he he put on for our hometown. So you know, I mean, I'm appreciative to be in a position where I can be on tour with him and you know share the same stage as him. You know, um, it's amazing to like to to like be able to say like you know I've done some things. I'm not gonna say I like like I've gone as far as I wanna like progress. You know, I'm just I'm I'm appreciative to be on tour with Edo for real. He's a he's an OG and and he really he really um without even knowing it probably drops words of wisdom. You know what I'm saying? Without even knowing it, but I pay attention and I appreciate it. Uh, well, you have two sons. Yeah. When it comes to your future, uh. Do you think they're gonna be like interweaving uh, into the, the hip hop community? Would you like them well to be MCs? Uh, that's my qu question. I want them to be whatever they want to be. Whatever they decide they want to be, I'm gonna support them. I don't care what my sons decide to be, as long as it's positive, as long as it's um, something that they're they're um, passionate about. You know, uh, I, right now I want them to enjoy being kids. You know, I don't try to force feed them any music. I don't try to force feed them anything that's me. I let them do them, you know? Mm -hmm. My son, he talks to me about Pokemon. You know, my other son, he talks to me about, like, Millie, Millie and Bod and Dora. You know, I got a nine-year-old, I got a three-year-old. So they talk to me about cartoons and video games, and, and I appreciate that. I, Their favorite po Pokemon? Oh, Pikachu. Oh, Pikachu, of Pikachu, course. yeah, yeah. Big shout-outs to Pikachu. <laughs> <laughs> Big shout-out to Pikachu, yeah. Shoot, Well, uh, you're traveling a lot. Do you still have time to do some sightseeing, uh, just wander around, have a stroll in the, the cities that you're touring in? You know, in some places we do. Um, unfortunately, like, it, it's sad. Like, you know, a lot of times, you know, people don't reckon, it, people don't realize that, like, when we get on these tours, we're, like, we're in a city and then we literally perform and, and then we're straight to the hotel and then back to the, back to the, um, the airport to the next country so uh, it's it's fortunate it's fortunate enough when we, we're able to stop like for instance on this trip for the first time i got like some time off in berlin and i'm gonna get to see berlin a lot you know um there are other places that like i've yet to be able to see even though i've been there a bunch of times for instance paris i've been to paris like so much i've never really experienced paris because i do shows and i leave sure. you know so it's unfortunate sometimes Well, uh, I know that you did some cross country with Easy Dread. Correct me, am I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are, are you still doing that from yeah. time to time? Do you have time for that? Wow, Dread's gonna love this. She's probably gonna lose her mind. But yeah, like um, me and Easy Dread, we went across country. She was moving. She she actually she's from Connecticut, but moved to California to finish her schooling. Uh, don't mind that. That was like a feather. Um, but but she um, she moved to California for school. And then uh, we decided she wanted to go back to Boston, where she was living prior to that. And, um, you know, I said I'll take the trek with her, you know, and it was cool. You know, we saw all across the globe, Cali, Nevada, Arizona, Utah, Colorado, like all the way across, you know, all the way up to, to the East Coast. So it was dope, man. And, and Evie Dread, like she's she's on my new album a bunch, like on the Revolution Cocktail Project. She's on the joint Cage Bird, which, one, which is one of the singles. And... And um, she produces two of the records. She produces the the outro to the whole album called Forever Error. And she's just an amazing talent, like vocally, um, you know, on the production, engineering. She plays instruments. So people are going to be, like, shocked and surprised to see what this girl got in store. But I appreciate her and her support. Yeah. Uh, well, you just ma mentioned your uh, new album. What can you tell us about this project, the upcoming project? It's dope. It's the first one that I'm entirely putting out by myself. Um, I love it, man. It's coming out July 2nd. Uh, it's going to be my own thing. Uh, I'm going to straight up, straight up do like my distros in, in Poland and my dish. I got, I got certain things set up in Poland and certain things set up in uh, Switzerland and all across. And um, it's a real amazing project. You know, we got like Bishop, Bishop Lamont and rapper Big Pooh. Uh, f formerly a little brother and 
Uh, we got Moss on the project. We got Lee Bannon, who's an amazing producer from Sacramento. And the list goes on. Jay Troni is dope vocalist. Um, you know, uh, it, it just goes on. Singapore Kane. Real appreciative of this project. Yeah. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Seven albums, uh, including some mixtapes, in four years. Am I right? Uh, you're very, very, very. Uh, you're very productive wow. MC. Uh, I, I've been I've been busy. I, I I've definitely been busy. I don't know about seven. It might be yeah. It might be seven in that that amount of time. Uh, do you do, well? You still got plenty of topics that you can rap about. But sometimes, do you feel like you, like you need some new inspiration? Uh, nah, you know what I'm saying. There's always going to be something to speak about. There's always going to be things um, uh, changing in the world. There's always going to be issues with my sons getting older and me getting older and just just watching the world turn around you know what I'm saying so it's an amazing art form that we have and we, and I'm very appreciative of being a part of it uh, you collaborated with legendary producers Pete Rock DJ Primo uh, when you go back in the, in the, in the, you trying to judge, like yo maybe you <laughs> yo <laughs> 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 well legendary uh, NOG He's there. He's there. He's watching us. He's watching us, like Sting. Well, uh, when you go back, uh, when you go back in the memory, uh, what can you tell us about the, those collaborations? I mean, I can say that like I'm still awestruck to this day. Like, dog, I come from Lawrence, Massachusetts. People don't. People who know Lawrence, they be like, damn, yo, like. It's it's a very small town. You know, it's a it's a mill city that that was uh, started with immigrants. Uh, um, it's a heavy uh, immigrant-based um, town, and you know it's 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 about thirty thirty to forty minutes north of Boston, and it's where terminology comes from and where Static Selector comes from, and I mean we come from nothing. So to be able to like you know <laughs> say that we like working with cats that we were, I was like yo if I ever get a DJ Premier beat, or if I ever work with Large Pro, and then like you know what I'm saying to sit in headquarters and then like you know do stages with large professor and like you know uh the 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 word the words can't even come out like i'm I'm speechless to be at, like like i said the whole thing with edo like being on the stage with edo you know it's he probably like whatever but like you know it's the, it, that the reality of that I'm, i'm still all struck by all of it you know what i mean and some words to the new upcoming mcs your words Be original. Don't don't um take no for an answer, and just like you know, respect the architects and respect the craft itself, and you'll be all right. Thank you so much for your time. Thank, thank you for your amazing performance, and thank you guys. Thanks, Edo. You're still watching us. <laughs> Matt, he was like, "Yo, it's time to go." Like, yo, he he wasn't interested in the interview. I think he's like, "Yo, bring your ass on, son." <laughs> <laughs> you long-winded ass nigga. <laughs> ah, right, we do this. Right, yo, thank you, thank you. Thank Thanks, you. man. Yo, appreciate you. Appreciate Revolution it. cocktail, July 2nd, yo. Peace. Blender art.